How do you stand out from the crowd? How do you stick out like Bill Nye at a Flat Earth convention? I've got five great ways that'll keep you from streaming to just your mom. You know, it's okay. It's a, We love that your mom's there, but, you know, we need more than one viewer. And if you stick around for the last one, it's going to help you with so much more than just that. The first thing is never stream to zero viewers. And I know that seems obvious. If you're gonna choose between having your preview window up on OBS or opening up a tab in your browser and having your, your stream up there, choose the tab. Get out of the just the zero viewer hell. There's no reason to stay there. Even if it's just you watching, you can keep up with what's going on. You can lower your quality down to 160p and basically have no overhead on how it affects your stream. Oh wait, you say you don't have 160p. All you have is 1080 or 720. That's tip number two always make sure transcoding is on. If you don't know what transcoding is, transcoding is whenever you can choose the quality of the stream. Sometimes when you go to a stream, that person who's streaming may only have their native source to stream to, 720p, 936, 1080p, and your viewers need the option of 160, 320, 480, etc. because not all of your viewers are going to have great internet. In fact, over 50% of all traffic on Twitch is mobile. You need to make sure that you have that option. How do you do that? It's really simple. You have to restart your stream. You need to wait 10 seconds, restart it again until you have transcoding. This has gotten to be something I have to do less, but during 2020 and the surge in streamers then, it was a constant battle to get transcoding. And the reason it's important is I had a couple of viewers that need that. They need to be able to turn down resolution to 320 or 160 to be able to play a game, be able to watch the stream and it not buffer, or maybe they just have limited resources maybe they're on mobile that's why that's important a viewer watching your stream at 160 is more valuable than a viewer not watching your stream at 1080 so make sure that's on easy to forget to do it but it's something that is more important than people realize third thing we're going to talk about is something you're going to hear me harp on a lot i cannot tell you today if we go into a streamer right now with zero or one two viewers how many of them do not have their alerts on you need your alerts on for follows raids if i'm being honest with you you don't really need them for subscriptions you don't need them for bits as much as you do for raids and follows the reason for that is sure bits and subscriptions are nice but two dollars and fifty cents three dollars a dollar a hundred bits those aren't going to make you grow on twitch they're nice they make you feel good and it makes the person giving that that amount as well feel good but what you need is, is butts and seats that's what you need and so when somebody follows you need to make sure that you're appreciative of it as much or more appreciative than somebody giving you a subscription or subscribing to your channel you need to make sure you don't just say hey thanks for the follow you need to say oh my god thanks for the follow i appreciate you so much thanks so much for following the hat hangers hangout you know i i don't know i, I don't know what you want to call your community but make sure you're appreciative of the follows as much than the people who subscribe and give bits you're not going to grow if you don't have people actively watching your stream this one that I do also see a lot on smaller channels and on bigger channels, but the bigger channels can get away with it because they've already brought in a community. The fourth thing is do not turn on follow only mode. This is something I see in smaller creator streams more often than I should. And I get the allure. It, having this mode on means that if somebody comes into your stream and they wanna talk, they've gotta hit that follow button. And when you only have 40 followers, you're trying to get to 50, it's alluring to try to say, okay, well, if they like the stream enough, they're gonna hit the follow button and they're gonna talk. Don't do that. Do not. It's a, a massive pet peeve, something that we've talked about on my stream, is whenever we raid into somebody and they have full only mode on, do they think that they are gaming the system? And the answer is they're not. Now, there are some content creators that, that this mode is very important for, people who get you know hate rated or people come in and are rude to them because of their ethnicity or their beliefs that is kind of a reason that that may be okay there are times like say you get a massive raid which this has never even happened to me really i've been rated by hundreds of viewers i've never been rated by thousands and so even then turn on slow mode before you turn on follow only mode or subscription mode that should only be a last resort to calm down your stream from something traumatic that is happening so just don't turn on follow only mode the fifth thing we're going to talk about is always have some background music on unless you're playing a game that has a ton of ambient music or a great soundtrack or you can't turn the music down make sure you have something in the background it can be Harris Heller stream beats it can be pretzel rocks if, if you're the type of person that wants to have copyright music playing you can turn that on and I would say it's one of the most important things to keep people in the stream the last thing you want to do is have a new viewer come by and you're just sitting there with your mouth open breathing into the microphone and there's nothing else there other than game sounds. You want to make sure that somebody goes, "Oh, wow, that's a pretty cool beat. I like that. I'm going to I'm I'm going to stick around for a minute." And then by the time you get by past whatever that thing you were focused on, you can say, "Wow, that was crazy." I know some of you are saying, "I can't play music on stream. Like it's it's in my audio. Like I can't watch VODs. I can't take clips." Well, that's why you need to watch this video right here. And it's going to tell you how to be able to turn off that background music for VODs, for clips, for anything else you need, even copyrighted music. It's a very simple process and I go through everything you need right there.